This wooden box may seem low-tech, but it's a first prototype of a new brain imaging system that will visualise the brain in a much better way than today's techniques. In future, the combination of MEG and MRI will help to improve the diagnosis of brain disorders. If somebody has a problem in the brain with the instruments that we develop, we can, we can measure if there are any structural changes like cancer or functional changes in the operation of the brain. So we get more information about your condition in the brain. MEG and MRI as single systems already provide scientifically precious insights for brain research. The MEG technique is non-invasive and measures the magnetic fields in the brain. It allows a direct measurement of brain functions with a high resolution. Now she's biting her teeth to get up and you can see the muscular activity. The disadvantage of this technique is it often provides an imprecise localization, so that small errors in the measurements can cause completely different solutions. In contrast to MEG, the MRI generates detailed images of structures and operation of the brain by using magnetic fields and radio waves. But today's high field MRI can become a problem for various patients. Within the European Research Project Hybrid MEG MRI Imaging Scanner, scientists at the Aalto University in Helsinki, Finland, have developed an ultra-low magnetic field. This allows a safe medical examination, even for patients with pacemakers or pregnant women, a breakthrough in brain imaging research. Producing images of the structure of the brain and simultaneously data which show the brain activity will improve the accuracy of the measurements. Dr. Ferrer Karif from the University in Lausanne, Switzerland, sees the potential of this method. It could be uh, essentially very interesting if they manage to do that, because the MEG, like the EEG, have a, a high resolution in terms of time, and with the MRI we have high resolution of space. Then, as I say, it's very important to combine all this information. The project coordinator, Risto Ilmoniemi and his team, have developed the new system from scratch. Currently, the prototype is only for technical development, before a new version is built to help in daily life. It will be a standard technology in the hospital. For example, epilepsy patients would be one, one group of patients who will be studied. Researchers plan to hold their first clinical tests in four years' time.